Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Gogo here from Zhuhai, China. So in my last video, I made a charging test of the LFP battery made in China Standard Range Plus Model 3. If you haven't seen it and you are interested in it, please go and check it out. So in this video, I'm going to have a look at the range test on the highway of this LFP battery Standard Range Plus Model 3. And many people in the last video, they comment that uh, their LFP battery Model 3 cannot charge to 100% every time. Uh, especially in uh, Northern Europe, where the temperature is uh, quite low. So I have some recommendations for you. The first one is that to avoid using fast charging. Uh, it's better to use a slow charging wall connector at home and then you need to charge to 100% every time. Even though when the car reaches 100%, it's highly recommended for you to leave the charging cable still connected to the car for at least three hours so that the battery management system can better estimate the capacity of the LFP battery. So the charging has now completed. Let's uh, unlock the charging cable and go inside the car to have a look the range of 100% in this car. So now let's get into the car and based on the computer estimated here, the full range of 100% will be 422 kilometers, which is quite impressive. And now I'm going to head to Guangzhou, which is 120 kilometers away from Zhuhai and then I will come back to Zhuhai. So the total uh, distance would be about 250 kilometers. And uh, let's have a look at the weather today. So we can see the weather condition is pretty good, cloudy and 90 degrees Celsius in Zhuhai. And uh, I will set the climate control to 20 degrees Celsius and wind speed to three level okay so that's the driving condition and uh, everything is zero right now let's head to guangzhou hello everyone a quick update now uh, we are close to guangzhou my mom is driving and i will drive back to zhuhai so that we can eliminate the effect of uh, driver's driving style you know that so the highway speed limit in China is around 100 to 120 kilometers per hour, which is equivalent to 60 to 75 miles per hour. Uh, but you know, the uh, Chinese Spring Festival is coming, so there's absolutely no, absolutely no car on the highway, so we can drive pretty fast. Uh, the average speed is around 110 to 130 kilometers per hour uh, on the highway. So uh, let's see what the average consumption will be when we go back to Zhuhai. See you later. Hello, a quick update now. We are on our way back to Zhuhai. Let's have a look at the road condition. This is the highway in China. You can see there's the four lanes here not so many cars during the Spring Festival and I'm using autopilot to uh, drive the car we can see that the speed, speed limit here is 100 km per hour but I can set the highest speed to 110 km per hour in order to consume more energy of this car so let's see uh, what the consumption will be when we arrive too high see you later now I have arrived at Zhuhai and let's check it out the onboard computer here. So the total distance is 233 kilometers and I have used 33 kilowatt hour battery and uh, the average consumption is 143 watt hour per kilometers and I have around 200, uh, 128 kilometers range left. So if we add up 128 and 233, uh, the total range would be 360 kilometers. So the LFP battery in this uh, 2021 Standard Range Plus Model 3 has a uh, 55 kilowatt hour. It is a little bit 
larger than the battery uh, made in the United States by LG and Panasonic. So uh, the average consumption is 14.3 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. If we use 55 divided by 14.3, we can get actually uh, 380 kilometers. Uh, but it, it is a little bit higher than uh, 360, but I don't think every, anyone will drive the battery out of juice to 0%. Uh, so um, the average speed on the highway is around 110 kilometers, uh, because there's not so many cars on the highway. We can uh, cruise at 110 to 130 kilometers per hour. So that's all for the uh, highway range test for this LFP battery model three. So in my uh, in my next video, I will talk about the uh, build quality of this uh, 2021 um, made in China model three. So please subscribe to my channel, and if you have any questions about this uh, made in China 2021 model three. Uh, please comment down below and let me know and if you like this video please uh, like it share it okay so that's all for today's video uh, see you soon bye